welcome to Review Time with Islip. I am Islip, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Walmart reissue of the Transformers G1 Minibot Swerve. And uh, again, we're going to start off with the back of the box. There's his transformation. There's his G1 picture, and here is his bio. If you want to take a read, there you go. And his tech specs. I don't. I don't care about these things. They don't make no sense to me anyway. I don't care. But I do like the box. Here's the front of it. Again, another one that I just kind of want to get another because I, I, I that it's a nice little picture of his G1 self. It's not the best looking artwork, but it's just so G1. This one actually I I managed to get out without ripping too much of it. So um, I might be able to hang this one on the wall. I don't know. Maybe I'll get another one and just hang it on the wall. I don't know. I don't know. All right, which one? Okay. Sorry, I had to I had to look again because he is a remold of another. Like most of the the, the mini bots that they've released, with the exception of Bumblebee. Well, even Bumblebee is a a slight remold, but this is a remold and a recolor of another um, bot, uh, the G1 Gears. So here he is, his little little truck mode, little uh, I guess a pickup truck with with a back I don't really know maybe a monster truck I'm not sure it's a, it's one of those those little Coral Q inspired figures you know that originally I guess in I believe in the original toy line that this was from I think it was called Microman or something these were actually these were actually little robots that turned into toys rather than real vehicles which is why they look so weird um, he's got a rub sign on the top, which you're supposed to rub, but I'm warm enough that you can. I can just put my finger on it, and it does its thing. Uh, turn it around, and there's his his bot mode. And I'm kind. It's got me wondering. It's got me wondering if that was even the original G1 head. I don't know. I'll have to look that up. But there's his little face and his whole robotness there. So his suit, well, before we do transformation, let's bring in, here is Gears. And I've had Gears for uh, a while, and I think this one is, a, is an, an a, a original G1. But there he is in his colors, and I like the colors on this better. Uh, I, I, don't, I like blue and red better than burgundy and sort of a white color, if I'm honest with you. But I already have a Gears, and there is Gears' underside, and... We will get him out. Let's see. The wheels are, yeah, they're they're close. The wheels, the hubcaps are slightly, very slightly different, but uh, yeah, very slightly different than this guy's. Let's see. Yeah, enough of that. So. Uh, his transformation is fairly easy. Just rotate these bits down and around, and that becomes his legs. Take these bits and pull them out. Now, for some reason, his comes out at an angle, but um, especially this one. This one's at even more of an angle. I don't think it's supposed to be at an angle, but that's the way it happens. And my G1 uh, swerve does not swerve. G uh, gears does not do that. But uh, there he is in his little robot glory and he's pretty cool looking I like him I like him even though his arms are way too dumpy and his his legs are so huge from the side they're skinny this way but from here they're like humongous uh, he's really short too he is extremely short uh, let's let's get G1 Bumblebee out here so you can see he is ridiculously tiny compared to what was the smallest Autobot in the cartoon he was the smallest Autobot, so how did Gears get smaller? I don't know, but uh, that's the way it goes. Did I say Gears? I meant Swerve. Sorry. Sorry. And I'll let me get my G1 Gears out for comparison. And there is my G1 Gears, who has the G1 face, which is cool. Now they just need to release him with the G1, uh, the, the, the G1 show face. 
you know, that would be, that'd be cool. That would be cool. So, yeah, and you, as you can see, um, actually, actually, there's a lot of remolding that went on. I didn't even realize that. Uh, whoops. Looks like everything's been pretty much remolded as far as the robot bits go. This whole section here, the legs, the knees, um, even the hands are different. They, I mean, they're similar-ish, but um, well, maybe that's just the way that they, they ended up getting cut. So let's forget about the hands, but everything else, the whole robot torso, all that is completely different. That is complete. Let me see if I can zoom in a bit. So you can see. It's hard to tell because it's got white on white, but I mean, there's even detail right here, which, hold on, let's see. I don't know if that's helping. I can't really tell. I can't really tell. But, um, yeah. So let's bring them back out. And we'll bring out Optimus Prime so you can see how ridiculously tiny they are. Actually, there we go. So Optimus is a ding-dong giant. They're even more Bumblebee proportion than Bumblebee was. So let's go ahead and move this out of the way. Uh, let's see. He looks, honestly, he looks almost Titan Mastery size. Yeah. The Titan Master Pretenders are almost the same size. That's something. That said, uh, Walmart 796. Now, here's the thing. This guy, I can't honestly say, hey, go out and get him. Um, he's cool. Don't get me wrong. He's cool. I got him because I wanted the whole set. Uh, He's cool, but honestly, I think, in this case, this guy was just much better. Uh, I like the look of him better, even though he doesn't have a face face. Um, like, the color is a lot better. So, and I can't really say that any of the, the G1 figures are must-haves, unless you're into G1 like I am. Uh, and then even then, I can say, unless you need him, you don't really need to get him. You feel me? So, that said, I'm Islip. I hope you enjoyed the video. Not a bad uh, little mini bot. Don't get me wrong. He is not a bad mini bot at all. Just, honestly, I think this guy was better. And, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just, he's, he's okay. I'm not sorry I got him. Because I got, like, everybody. I got everybody. I wanted to get everybody. I got everybody. I am happy that I got everybody. I got everybody. Did I mention that I got everybody? Of course I said that. Anyway, I'm Islip. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got something out of it. And uh, till next time, ciao.